What's up guys, Kyle here again, and today we're gonna beat the deadest horse of all time. Is the block letter 5150 the same as the script 5150? Let's do it. Hope everyone's doing great out there today. For a very short time, I have this block letter EVH5150 in my possession. Now, not that long ago on my channel, I shot out the 5150 signature with the 6505, okay? I beat that dead horse already. And now, we're gonna beat an even deader -er horse by shooting out the EVH block letter and the signature 5150. Okay, so, for all intents and purposes, guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, these amps are the same. I do not care what your argument is, they're the same. James Brown, the amp designer, has gone on Tone Talk and said they are the exact same amps. The only difference is factory component tolerances between the two amps and the block letters shipped with the Sylvania 6L6 power tubes, whereas these signatures at that time had switched over to Ruby power tubes because the Sylvanias were no longer in production. That is it. That is why the argument exists in the first place is just the tubes from the factory switched. But for some reason, 30 years later, we can't get past this argument that these two amps are not the same amp. I've owned more than I can count of each of these. Everyone has their own little special differences about them. And that comes down to factory component tolerances and how well the amp's been maintained and how the components have aged over the years. There's really nothing else to it. That is it. So. You guys heard, there was a little bit of difference between the two amps in the opening intro. That could be due to the life of the tube. That could be the components have drifted more or less out of spec over the years compared to one another. I mean, there's, there's so many small variables and we're talking about amps that are, you know, the block letter is probably 30 years old at this point. The signature, I think mine is like a late 90s, so it's, you know, 25 years old at this point. But anyways, yeah, I had them dialed in exactly the same. As you guys can see here, I'll move my guitar out of the way and smash a couple things while I'm at it. This is why I hate playing Vs. They are set exactly the same. So the real question is, can we make them sound the same by setting them up slightly differently to make up for whatever differences and tolerances we have going on or differences in tubes? They do have the same tubes in them. They both have Ruby 6L6 GC power tubes. They both have a tongue saw and V1 with JJ across the rest of the preamp. So what I'm gonna do is set everything to noon, including the resonance, presence, not the presence, on each amp, okay? And we're gonna dial the gain down to about two and a half on each amp. And we're gonna shoot them out and see if we can get them to sound the same. So right now we're on the block letter. <laughs> Okay guys, so on first impressions, for whatever reason, the signature head has a lot more mids and is not quite as full, whereas the block letter is a little bit more full, a little bit more uh, muffled sounding at these settings. So let's give the block some more mids and let's give the signature some more lows. So that was the signature, now we're back to the block. They sound pretty damn similar, but uh, I still think the SIG has a little bit more mid presence. So we're gonna dial up the mids a little bit more, dial up the presence a little bit, or the highs a little bit more. So we're still on the SIG.
Wow, it's nearly identical, guys. You can see the settings are a little bit different, but the amp sounds the same. Okay, so maybe just a tad more mid and a tad more high on the sig. Oh, they both sound, they sound almost identical. They both sound awesome. All right, let's get a little bit more gain on these things. We're turning it up to three and a half on each. So I still say that the block letter has more low end and the signature has more cut the way we're set up. So let's add a little resonance. Okay, so now we actually got to go a little bit down here. They, okay, they're virtually identical at this point, so. Well, they both sound good. I'm reminded why I love this amp so damn much. All right, so, I mean. These things sound amazing, guys, and they sound pretty much identical. I mean, you can pick out little nuances, but for the most part, you know, everybody's like, oh, the block letter, that's the grail, man. That's the one that sounds the best, blah, blah, blah. No, man. They're the same amp. So you guys know I'm a boost junkie. Let's see how it takes a good boost. How anyone could ever deny that these are some of the best metal amps of all time is beyond me. Oh, yeah, that sounds awesome. Let's get a little more high. God, I love 5150s. All right, so that was the Deadwell Duality DX. Let's try the Balliger Fish and Drive. Never tried this on a 5150. All right, that sounds totally killer, guys. Alright, that pedal works really well with these amps. So that's about going to do it for my comparison, guys. I'm going to play one more riff and you guys can hear the differences for yourself. 
Let me know in the comments what you think. Did you really hear a massive difference between these two? Do you really prefer one of these over the other? Do you think that this one is currently worth over $1,000 where this one's like in the $800 price range and the 6505 still 500 bucks? Does that make any sense to you? Because to me it doesn't, especially when these are so mass produced that you can find them any day of the week. But anyways, I'm gonna stop my little rant here and we're gonna play a riff and that'll be it. <laughs> Man, this channel switching things hard with a V on your lap. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you liked this comparison, if you like to see more amp shootouts, more amp comparisons, more high gain amps in general, more awesome boost pedals like the ones we got up here, please consider subscribing to my channel because my goal as a YouTube content creator is to make as many honest reviews of the gear that I own or come across as I possibly can and try to explain it to you guys the best that I possibly can and I've got a ton of stuff coming up. So please, do me a favor. If you like this, hit the like button. If you like what we got going on here, hit subscribe, hit the notification, and we will see you guys on the next one. Kyle here, see you soon.